be technical superior, I guess. Right. So that's why you're seeing a lot of those um, social problems when it comes to the internet. Mm -hmm. But even but bec because we are given the internet environment since you know um, earlier than any, any other countries, yeah. um, we have been witnessing a lot of social phenomena happening in Korea mm -hmm. years and years uh, in advance of other countries. Sure. Uh, when it comes to the internet gaming, mm -hmm. uh, the political drives, mm -hmm. uh, you know, portals, things like that. Sure. So, mm -hmm. Those things are. I mean, there's a lot of things you need to take you know take a look at it. You might just ignore that because mm -hmm. ah, it's Korea. It's not necessarily necessarily going to happen in other countries. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is that things that happened in Korea like five or six years ago mm -hmm. are now finally mm -hmm. okay uh, happening in some other countries. <laughs> sure. Why is that? Well, we do have culture differences, but at the same time, we were just exposed to the internet earlier than other countries. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna it's meant to happen in other countries. Right. So no matter what the culture is. Interesting. So I did hear that, I mean, obviously the elections just happened in the U.S., mm -hmm. Obama won, and a lot of that was due to usage of new media, Grassroots the internet, mm -hmm. um, but I heard that the previous president mm -hmm. here, uh -huh. yeah. that's what he was doing like six years ago. Six yeah. years ago. Six years. Years. Uh, from our experience, uh, when we have a successful campaign, especially um, utilizing the, the new media, Actually, um, I think there are three factors of success for my experience. It has to be cool, <laughs> <laughs> cool, fun. And the second is the transparency. And the third one, I think that uh, purpose of the campaign is more is driven to more uh, public interest. So a lot of times, like, uh, a lot of PR professionals actually, they treat bloggers as um, Newspaper reporter, okay, which is quite different. You know? Yeah, very the different. Bloggers are amateurs, you know. Right. So like, hey, I want you to see me as a person, not <laughs> as a media channel. <laughs> right. Um, but then, it's uh, for me, I'm more of like a more like an expert. Sure. As in, like more like a columnist, that's right. my blogging style. Right. I think this kind of thing still happen in the U.S. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah so, absolutely. So, what's your approach to the bloggers or social media? Uh, well, I think I have a a better approach just because mm. I am a blogger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, I, mean, yeah. I probably get pitched probably five to six pitches a day. <coughs> I mean, because I know, like, I'm a marketing blogger, so I know people mm. pitch me marketing programs, mm. but because they think that I'm going to potentially find them interesting, I mean, I think a lot of people just don't care. They just want, mm. I'm on a list somewhere, like, I'm on an ad <laughs> ages list, and they <laughs> scrape the top hundred and they send a message out to them. The worst ones I get are press releases. So what we what we really try to do is, like, it, and it's tough because it's client by client. So you have to basically, what we tell people is like at least read through the past three months worth of their content. Uh -huh. Read every single post. Read comments. Find out who's commenting. All that kind of stuff. And then basically just start connecting. I mean, however they want to connect. Leave a comment without asking anything. I mean, like your first 20 contacts should not be asking someone to do something. Because the PR people that I, just like you, they send me something, I write about it immediately because I respect their relationship. They've been around me for a while. So they've connected on Twitter, they're friends on Facebook, they leave comments. They've never asked me for anything. And, but I know they're they're PR. I know they're setting me up for something. I know it. I mean, it's it's part of the the game. It's part of the balance. Um, but when they do, I mean, it's always respectful. It's on topic. Like I'm right about marketing and technology. It's always on topic because they know me, uh, and I write about it immediately. But it's the ones that kill me with the pasting the press release that just it drives me insane. <laughs>